this video is going to be on habanero hamburger pizza. Uh, these aren't fresh because it's middle of December. It's really December 27th, 2019. These are the habaneros that I grew in my garden this year. You know, this one's a small one. Put a couple of those in there. That's basically about the average size. I think I got about 30 or 40 of them off of one plant. I only had one plant. Put in some onions. All this, all these are frozen. Everything's frozen. This is a bell pepper, one of the smaller bell peppers. Throw that in there, and let's put a little bit of uh, Italian. This is good stuff, I think. Italian classic Italian flavoring. Put a little bit of that in there. Good stuff. Gonna add some water. And uh, as usual, I always do the, the mini bullet. It's uh, one of my favorite appliances. So I'm going to put this uh, top on it, and I'm going to put it on the mini bullet for about a minute or so. You know, you do it for about 10 seconds, shut it off, shake it up. You know. So I'm going to mix it. And then I'll okay, put in about three quarters of a cup of uh, flour, and this is about you know half a cup of. Uh, Bird's eye biscuit mix. Put that in there. And here, this is what it looks like. This is the habanero. It's got uh, onions, Italian seasoning, habaneros, and a bell pepper. So uh, you can't get away from the flavoring. You know, if people don't like the hot stuff, there's no way to get out of it because it's in the it's in the dough itself. So I'm going to put it in there, mix it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just a minute. It's pretty pretty runny, you know. That's what uh, the batter started to look like. A little bit green because of the bell pepper and stuff. But I'm going to put in about a half a cup of this. It's uh, Krusty's uh, buttermilk fluffy pancake mix. Yeah, I'll make it uh, rise. I'll make it thick, you know. You don't want to, you have to uh, roll this stuff out really thin because if not it rises. It will make your crust way too thick. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. It's right here. It's over a half a cup. We're going to start with about a, almost a half a cup and then uh, whatever's left we'll use it as a flour to roll out the, the rest of the batter. So we got uh, white flour. We got uh, some uh, biscuit mix and we got some waffle mix to make the crust. Okay, that's what the dough looks like. Um, where you're kneading it and stuff like that, getting your pizza ready, you might as well preheat the oven. I put it on bake for at, uh, 475. Uh, grease the pan. So I may have a little bit too much dough here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some bread sticks. Still need to knead this a little bit. But you need to uh, roll it out as thin as possible. As thin as possible. And uh, there's my hamburger. It's frozen, but uh, I'll thaw it out. I usually make a habanero hot dog pizza too. That's pretty tasty. But this time it's going to be habanero hamburger. Okay, this is what the crust is going to look like. You still see a little bit of pieces of uh, habanero and stuff like that. But I'm going to take these cheese sticks. I'm going to go around the, the edges. It's uh, mozzarella cheese, I think it is. Mozzarella, of course. And um, you bring it down into like, divide it into four pieces. And just uh, go around the edges and roll them up. Because everybody likes cheese crust. So, this is uh, habanero. Oh yeah, if you wanted, you could just uh, put cheese on the in the middle of this. Fold it over. And you could have uh, habanero cheese bread. You know, just fold it like a quesadilla or something like that and put it in the oven. Okay, here it is. You can see a little piece of that um, mozzarella sticking out. Mozzarella. So that's what it looks like. Instead of using um, regular, what's it called, uh, tomato sauce or whatever, I use uh, spaghetti sauce. This is Del Monte's. You can use anything you want. 
but I like using spaghetti sauce. It makes it a little bit sweeter. At least the whole can. It makes it uh, sweet hot. I don't know if you like sweet hot or not. But uh, uh, spaghetti sauce, traditional. And uh, it's got a sweet taste to it. that around, get everything laid out. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna put some more Italian seasoning on it and then I'll start putting the uh, whoop can't do this with one hand. <clears throat> Gotta fix that. But that's what it looks like the the crust and the sauce. So I add a little bit more seasoning and some hamburger and uh, pull apart pork. So now it's a habanero hamburger pull apart pork pizza. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add the peppers, onions, and cheese. Okay, that's what it looks like with the peppers on it. That pepper I grew in my garden, it's mid sized pepper, but uh, kind of look kind of funky, but the taste is, oh man, remarkable. I was just tired of spending a dollar, a little over a dollar a piece for bell peppers they had no flavor you know they add decoration to your your meal and stuff but uh, they have no flavor at all this pepper was all bent up and deformed and even frozen and it tastes great you know it's organic and uh, you can taste the difference store-bought bell peppers that are ought to be outlawed you know okay time to put the onions on okay there's the onions now it's time for the cheese I'm starting to tear up a little bit <laughs> what a whiner. No, pepper, I mean, the onions must be pretty hot. Okay, cheese and then put it in the oven. Okay, we're going to put it in the oven for about 18, 20 minutes. See how it is and then might even have to cook a little bit longer. But this one right here, it's a habanero hamburger pull apart pork pizza with uh, peppers and onions and cheese. Italian seasoning. And if you grow your own uh, peppers and stuff, this pizza right here basically costs you about five or six dollars to make. Just watch everything on sale. You know, that's basically the same price you pay at uh, Little Caesars. That's what it looks like. Whoa! Whoa! I let it cook for 18 minutes on the bottom and then uh, on the top about put it on broil for I think two or three minutes. You can see that. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Oh, that pizza's too thick. I, I wanted it thinner than that. But this is um, habanero. Hamburger, uh, pull apart pork with uh, peppers and onions, and uh, American cheese, spaghetti sauce. And the thing is, you don't want to drink water with this. You want to drink milk or something like that. What I'm going to do, I don't drink. The lady that was staying with me, if she's a lady, she's drinking like two or three of these a day. So I just saved the bottles and I made juice. I got Plum juice, I have tomato juice, rhubarb juice, beet juice. So this is just uh, plum, this is all natural. It's good stuff. Oh man, you wouldn't believe how good that is. So this here, go around the edges, you can have um, either uh, garlic or Parmesan cheese. It should have come out about two minutes earlier. Down there on the computer. <laughs> Watching YouTube. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. But uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. I'll cut a piece and uh, show you what it looks like. So there it is. <clears throat> I should have... Um, thinned it out more because if um, the what's it called dough or whatever it rises it rises a lot 
and uh, I had too much dough. I should have made some breadsticks out of it. Should have been watching what I was doing instead of being on the computer. But uh, there's the bottom of it. It's not too bad, you know. That's what it looks like. It's edible. It's good. I thought for sure it was going to be crisp, but the dough was. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Let me see. I'm not watching the camera. You see that? Okay. But uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. It's hot. It is hot to the touch and hot to the taste. It's, uh, it's pretty good. This is a habanero hamburger pizza. Make sure and subscribe. I just finished off that piece of pizza. and I've ate this before. This is the hottest it's ever been. I don't know why, but I, by the time I was done eating one piece, I was sweating. <laughs> usually don't do that but uh, it was better than what I thought it would be you know it's pretty pretty hot I just wish that the crust was a little bit thinner I knew that too I knew that uh, it rises too much you have to thin it out paper thin you have to make it paper thin and uh, it wasn't burnt it looked like it was burnt a little bit but it wasn't 